uh, the latest for us. Yeah, and not latest necessarily, but I'm just listening in on your conversation about persons being barred from uh, entering that area near Justice Square. Now, interestingly, the only set of persons allowed in, within the Justice Square area are not only the, the media, but the residents of Justice Square. And by residents, I mean there are a lot of homeless people, as you know, this is where they live. So they have not been allowed, they have been allowed basically. So it's business as usual for them. Uh, behind me, I have some sitting right there in front of me. So they have been somewhat allowed to continue or to remain in this area. But it's just persons, uh, members of the public. If you don't have any business here, the police will not allow you to walk through. All right, General Pursuit there uh, taking part as we continue our coverage of and await a verdict in the Vibes Cartel murder case. The jury was out for approximately, it seems, about two hours. They had been, uh, had gone to about 3.15 this afternoon. Well, we're getting the latest from our reporter, Dara Smith. There is a 10 to 1, 10 jurors voted in one way and one in another way, apparently. Um, it's an, well, it's clearly not a unanimous verdict, as I said, um, but we are, mm -hmm. we're not entirely clear what mm -hmm. the specific verdict has been, but it's 10 to 1, I'm being told by my producer. All right, now I'm being told that it's a 10 to 1 verdict, it's not unanimous. Uh, live TV here, folks, we're getting the latest from our reporter in the courtroom. Uh, with regard to the judge has actually asked as has has sent them back to continue deliberations it appears there was a 10 to 1 it appears that they have indicated that they have not come to a unanimous decision and the judge has asked them to retire again essentially the judge has sent the jury back to deliberate so that as far as we are, are aware is the latest that is taking place in the vibes cartel murder case it seems that the jury that there is one juror that does not agree with the others. Um, and that so far is the latest as we have been able to find out uh, in terms of the verdict in the case of uh, Clive Lizard Williams there. Um, it's alleged that Liz Lizard Williams was killed in um, 2011, in August 2011, by um, Vibes Cartels and Vibe Cartel and the other men in this case, or that they were part of a conspiracy um, in which he was killed, not necessarily that all of them killed him, uh, but essentially that they, was part, they were part of a conspiracy in which he was killed. You're seeing there the latest um, pictures from uh, downtown Kingston from Justice Square. Still very calm. Janela Pursuit has been on location. Janela, are there, is there, are there any changes in terms of the mood of the court, of the crowd? Uh, no changes, Archibald, because really and truly they don't have a view as to what's happening over here. So they, they continue to remain calm. The police continue to maintain, a, to keep a close watch on what's happening over uh, on King Street as well as Barry Street. Um, nothing much has changed in terms of uh, persons uh, reacting to, to the news of the 10 to 1 verdict that was just handed, well, that was just delivered. So uh, tense, calm persons continue to await uh, something. They, they want finality on this uh, so that everything gets back to normal, especially in this area. Again, the business community, Akemlani Mart is where uh, most persons converged earlier today. And a short while ago, Archibald, they closed. The owner did not look very pleased. And um, we're hoping that by tomorrow, things get back to normal for them. But until until such time, persons continue to wait. The crowd has grown, especially by the Barry Street's end, as persons await a final verdict from the jury. All right, thank you very much. Daniel Pursuit there on location in Justice Square. But we have our reporter, Dara Smith. I'm being told on location as well. She was in the courtroom. Do we have Dara online now? Yes, Archie, I'm here. What, what, what was the latest? What happened in court just a short while ago for a recap? At 5.30, words came that the jurors arrived at a verdict. We awaited on the arrival of the judge. He arrived in, uh, the jurors walked in the courtroom about 5.35. The judge arrived about five minutes after that. Uh, when the, Madam Foreman was asked if they arrived at a verdict, they said, she said yes. She was also asked if it was unanimous. She said no, it's 10 to 1. Now, the statute says that um, if two hours hasn't passed, they have to go back and um, relook at the, at the evidence. And that's what the judge has done. He has sent them back. 
to um, revisit to see if they can arrive at a unanimous um, decision. All right. Now, Dara, let's talk a little bit about the mood of the court as we prepare to hear.